What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about how Norwegians feel about their taxes. I don't know, a lot of things are run much better in Norway, to be honest. So I wouldn't be surprised if Norwegians are pretty happy with their taxes and their social services. I don't know for sure, but one thing I can say for sure is that Americans are not, not happy with their taxes. I mean, to be completely honest, I feel like most Americans, including myself, don't really understand where our taxes are going because not a lot of stuff gets better. Not a lot of programs and social services here in America are all that great. And I feel like that's some of the main things your taxes should go towards. Maybe fixing the pothole down the street once in a while, even though that never really happens either. So I'm just really curious. I know what Americans think about this. Americans don't like taxes. I mean, no one really likes taxes, but I'm curious what Norwegians think about where your taxes go and how you feel about that and maybe how much you pay and stuff like that. So I just think this will be fascinating. We have a question here on this Reddit discussion. Would you say you like where your taxes go? And we have a lot of Norwegians giving their answer. I'd say most Americans would say no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Want to hear what people in other places think, like Norway here. Yes, I happily pay my taxes. I just, I wish I could relate. I really do. Happily pay your taxes. I feel like America needs to come up with like a website or something where it's very easy for you to go see what your taxes are being spent on. That would be like a good first step because goodness knows it's not on healthcare or anything like that. Even if I were to, ne if I were to never need expensive medical treatment, I am happy to contribute to those who do need it and are taken care of and not financially ruined. That's a really good point. I never even thought about it like that. Mostly because it doesn't exist like that here. When you're paying your taxes in Norway, you're kind of paying for your health care if you need it, but you're also contributing to Norway as a whole and helping lots of other people out there who do need health care right now and they're getting it with some of the taxes you pay. Which is, honestly, paying taxes is never fun, but that's kind of a good feeling, knowing that you're helping other people. That's an interesting take. I can call the ambulance if there's an emergency without worrying if the person nearly dying can afford paying for the ambulance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea where he's talking about. Yeah. I have kids. Full paid maternity leave is given here. Five weeks holiday to spend with my kids. Unbelievable. To so, do some of the taxes go towards some of the employee, employer benefits or stuff like that? Full paid maternity. Can't people get like maternity for like a year or something in Norway? Is that a thing? I feel like that's a thing. In <laughs> That is an absolute joke in America. In America, it's like you're lucky if you can get paid maternity for three months. And, and that is it. And, and the dad probably, the dad will not, in most cases, get leave at all. Oh, five weeks holiday? Five weeks of holiday. This is just going to be a video of me going, what? Why is stuff so much better in Norway? Sick days with full pay if the kids are sick or if I'm sick. Free education. That's another one. I, how did I forget about that? I think I just, I'm so sad about the state of affairs in the United States and how we, you have to take out massive loans and go into massive debts to get a university education that I didn't even think about how in Norway, your taxes go towards free education. That is, oh man, I'm, I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous at all. Free medication for one of my kids who needs medicine. Grandparents fully taken care of. Oh my gosh, our, taxism, our tax system takes care of so many things, it's impossible to fully describe why this makes me happy to pay taxes. Yeah, I mean, I'd be happy too. I, that is one scenario that I'd actually be happy to pay the taxes. Oh my gosh. And yes, I'm happy with where my taxes go. 
And sure, there are parts I'm more unhappy with, but I'm glad it, I'm not the one distributing the money. As a whole, the taxes take care of us. The taxes take care of us. Perfectly said. In America, the taxes do not take care of you. They do not. Most Americans have no idea where their taxes go. Exactly. Exactly. They make it very difficult. It's not common knowledge. Probably going to our military budget. Probably. Guilty, lol, as long as I'm not in prison for tax evasion. <laughs> okay. Yes, if I break my leg, it's not going to ruin me. So I'm happy paying for it not to ruin my neighbors. Uh, it's interesting how most Norwegians here so far, immediately, their first reaction is, yeah, I'm perfectly happy paying taxes because of the health care. That's like the biggest reason so far. And it just makes me more and more, you know, more and more feel that that's how it should be in America. And people might actually be happy and taken care of. I'd even pay a little more to increase wages in health care and schools because we can't afford to lose any more nurses or teachers. Yeah, that's a big problem in America. Uh, nurses, less and less nurses because of not good enough pay. And teachers, teachers in America get paid horribly. It's disgusting. It's, it's ridiculous. One of the most important positions in our society. Teachers, they teach your children. They raise your children for half the day. And we're not paying them. Oh, um, it's, it's crazy. I, I think our taxes sh in America should definitely go towards higher teacher wages. Definitely. I'd like the rich to contribute a little more, but it has to be a fair and not ruin the liquidity of their companies. Okay. I'm all for the new salmon tax. <laughs> the, the salmon tax. That's the most Norwegian thing I've ever heard. The salmon tax. When we all know what the owners make on farming salmon. We know they can afford it. Oh, so they're taxing famine, salmon farmers, like extra, because they're so rich. <laughs> That's very Norwegian. Oh, man. I pay my taxes, and they are used for more or less good things. Yes, when my wife was very ill after our daughter was born, the taxes paid ensured her life was saved, and we did not pay anything. That's a great feeling. That is a great feeling. I mean, it shouldn't even be that extreme. It should just be basic, like... If you live in a civilized country and you feel like you need medical care, you should not have to hesitate and check your bank account before going and getting that care, which is unfortunately what happens in America because uh, we don't pay for health care with our taxes. I'm realizing that is such a huge thing that we could be doing. Instead, it's, it's an insurance-based system. Oh, oh my... I think the answer here, like everything else, lies between, somewhere between. Our taxes definitely make it the most of the places where they're needed. Still, healthcare, education, and other areas remain underfunded. Oh, a bit of a contrarian here. He's saying healthcare and education are underfunded. Really? We have an extremely inefficient state where lots of taxpayer funds are lost on expensive and unnecessary projects and increasing politician salaries. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder how true this is. I, want, I believe my taxes are mostly spent on reasonable things, but I'm not as positive as many others here. Well, let me tell you, even though you're only somewhat confident that your taxes are being spent on reasonable things, that's a much better situation than we have here in America. I would take that. I would take being somewhat uh, confident that the taxes are being spent in a good way. I still think there's lots of corruption the going down the drain and into politicians' pockets. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Even Norway can have problems like that, I suppose. I think the answer here, like everything else, lies somewhere between. Wait, that's exactly what we just read. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hold on. <laughs> uh, would you say you like where your taxes go? Yes. <laughs> that's all you got to say. Yes. That is great. That's a great answer. That's a good, that's a nice answer. Yes and no. Right now, our healthcare system is crashing and mental health care is a joke. But in all, I couldn't be happier to not go bankrupt. 
So the healthcare system in Norway isn't perfect at everything. I don't know exactly how the systems are organized, but just having the fact that you don't have to worry about being billed some amount of money that's going to ruin you financially, just the fact that that's not possible seems to be a really, really big weight lifted off Norwegian's shoulders, even if everything's not perfect. Um, hmm. Can you elaborate on the health system crashing? Uh, budget cuts all over causing overworked workers to flee. Oh, so a lot of, a lot of healthcare workers in Norway are quitting? That has happened in America as well. It's really terrible. Like, I don't know. We need to pay our healthcare workers and our teachers well. These are some of the most critical people in our societies. I, I, I say it over and over again. I don't know. Yes, I love not having to worry about bad luck potentially ruining my life financially. True. True. That's a direct shout out to America. <laughs> Yes, I have preferred paying more to further improve the services. This person wants to pay more. <laughs> That's funny. Mostly. This person is mostly happy with their where their taxes in Norway are spent. Healthcare, welfare, education, public safety, and defense and infrastructure are too important and big to not have the state responsible for them. However, I'm not so sure today as I was before that the money is being spent wisely. Really? There's a couple people in this discussion who are voicing some concerns, which surprises me. But it's interesting. I don't mind some differing opinions. It's good. I'm very skeptical about the current government's reversal. Really? Subdi subsidized industries and statement policies and offshore electrification of platforms and plants? In in light of soaring cost of living, war, population getting older. Uh, lockdowns three years after a pandemic. Wow. There are too many of these things going on because of politicians never having had to prioritize money for me to agree that my tax money is being wisely spent. So this person is not happy, not completely happy with how the money is being allocated and where exactly the funding is going. And they're saying that it's, there's been too much money for too long where politicians haven't had to worry about underfunding. And now that they have less money, like you have to actually think about what sectors you need to give more money. Budgeting and all that, which most of us want to be able to trust our government in doing. Yes, I'm happy. It's not perfect, but our system is pretty good by comparison with the world. That's a good point. That's a great point. I mean, there can be problems, but compared to the rest of the world, especially the United States, Norway and your tax system sounds like it's doing great. I gotta say, maybe that's just from my comparison. I know our system better than most citizens. I've traveled the world, and I just visited a developing country. I am thankful for being born in Norway. I know what I have. Nice, nice. I would have prioritized use of tax money differently than the current government. How do all the Norwegians actually know where your taxes are being spent? You, either Norwegians are much more educated or much more proactive in learning about where their taxes go, or it's much easier to get this information from the Norwegian government. Because I got to tell you, trying to figure out what your taxes go towards in America, there's nothing that I think of. There's no database, there's no website, there's no informational source that I can think of that it's like, okay, that's where I go to learn about where my taxes are going. There's nothing like that. Maybe there is something. Maybe it's just Americans being a bit lazy in figuring it out. I'll, I'll own up to that. Um, uh, yes, the system is largely held accountable. Tax spending open to public scrutiny. Oh, the tax spending is open to public scrutiny. Isn't that a novel idea? Man, there's so many little things about Norway that I just admire so much. Like the, this, like the open debate and open discussion on, okay, is the tax spending good? And they actually let the public scrutinize that, which is exactly how it should be. Man, in order to optimize it. Hell, I can't even see how much my colleagues and bosses are paid. Streets are clean, police are responsive, 
New schools are built, healthcare is good, but there's room to improve. So Norway's doing good. It's doing good and can do better, but it's doing very good. That's, that's kind of the gist I'm getting. For the public good, roads, school, health, fire department, research, sick leave, parental leave, courts, trains. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of great public services going on in Norway. Like, a lot. Uh, yes and a little no. I'm hearing a lot of that now as well. People like how taxes are spent in Norway, but they have a little bit of a grievance with it as well. It's not perfect. A lot of money is spent where I personally feel is wasted. Art and culture mainly. Oh. So, like, allocating money to museums or art galleries and stuff like that. I can see where, like, it's nice to have some government funding for, like, art and culture. But maybe, maybe this person thinks there's too much. Um, I've never complained about paying my taxes. That's not something you'll hear in America. <laughs> I've never not complained. <laughs> I have paid a lot. Now I pay less. Doesn't matter. The state will take care of me. What a, what a sentiment. I think that sentiment is like perfect. That's perfect to, to end on, I think. I think I've gotten a good grasp of how quite a few Norwegians feel about Norwegian taxes. And a lot of it boils down to, eh, I think some things are great. I think some things could be better. But I feel really confident and really happy that the Norwegian government will take care of me. And that right there is the, the goal to which every nation should strive to get to, especially, especially the United States, who is sorely lacking many of these things and any kind of transparency with our tax spending and our tax budget. Man, oh boy, it can drive you a little crazy, uh, especially when I learn about how much better it can be because uh, it's proof in these uh, testimonials from Norwegians here of how much how it, tax systems can be good and budgeting can be done well. Um, so it's nice to kind of see that side of it from Norway, kind of look up to it. So I enjoyed it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and just stuff about Norway that I've never seen before or learned about, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.